The Predator Kai Green is the second best bodybuilder in the world, and for many he is the best ever. His most recent victory was the 2016 Arnold Classic. He came in second place at the 2012, 2013 and 2014 Mr. Olympia competitions. Kai has some of the craziest muscular departments in current era. His incredible back, along with his mind-blowing quads and biceps, rank him as one of the greatest bodybuilders who never won the Olympia title. Although his back is considered among the best ever and would always be compared to those of Dorian Yates and Ronnie Coleman, yet Kai has some of the weakest traps among top contenders. Unfor unfortunately for him, his main rival, Phil Heath, has some of the craziest traps and most muscular poses ever. The most muscular poses between these two clearly show that Phil destroys Kai when it comes to the traps development. This urged Louis Marco, who happens to be one of Kai's biggest fans and Phil's biggest haters, this urged him to directly address Kai and advise him to change his most muscular pose from the crab pose to the one with his hands on his thighs. Louis knew that Kai would never have a chance against Phil when hitting the crab most muscular. Even from back poses, Phil is clearly superior to Kai when it comes to the traps development in both back double biceps and rear lat spread poses. Kai's traps are completely melted, small and barely exist in comparison to those of Phil. So this, in my opinion, is the first weakness Kai has in his physique. Now, the second weakness would be his forearms. Kai's forearms are thin and weak in comparison with his marvelous upper arms. To make things even worse for him, Phil has among the best forearms in bodybuilding history. The front double biceps poses clearly show how weak Kai's forearms in comparison to those of Phil, who has some of the craziest brachialis muscles out there. In competitive sports, it's not enough to be good. Or, a, or even so good to dethrone the reigning champ. You need to be so dominant and far way better than the champ so you leave no excuse for the judges whatsoever not to announce you as the new champ. This is how it is in martial arts sports like the UFC in which a challenger generally cannot dethrone the reigning champ by a unanimous decision win. In most cases, the challenger needs to KO the champ or at least to present a performance way better than that of the champ by taking him down for several times, for example, or by scoring more punches and more kicks and so on and so forth. This is also the case in bodybuilding as well. If you are not so dominant, if you are not so dominant, and proven way better than the champ, then you definitely have no chance to win. Especially if the champ himself is insanely good and can perfectly hold his own. Now, in my opinion, Kai has not proven himself to be better than Phil to dethrone him. And the worst is that he has been avoiding competing at the Olympia and he is not getting any younger. Granted, Kai is wider than Phil, but it is not only about width, because if so, Dennis Wolf or Big Ramy, who are both wider than Kai, should have won the Olympia for many times, and they haven't. Regardless of his weak traps and forearms, Kai Green will always be remembered as one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, for having some of the craziest muscular departments ever, combined with high definition and ripped muscles. His striated quads are definitely a sight to be seen and among the craziest ever in current era. That was all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, 
and many thanks for watching. Have a nice one.